I'm telling you, what type of dance requires your eyes to roll back? And when they are doing this dance, it looks like they are really demonically possessed. Unbeknown to them, they are lifting up offerings unto Satan. Today, we delve into a riveting discussion sparked by Hubert Angel Jr.'s insightful exposition on the spiritual implications of music and dance. In his message, Hubert Angel Jr. cautions against certain forms of dance. You know how it is today in the world with the kinds of music that are influencing the youth today and these kinds of music are i can tell you demonic anyway highlighting their potential as demonic offerings according to Hubert angel he draws a stark contrast between dances that align with the realm of darkness and those that resonate with the divine like king david's dance in the bible let's dissect this thought-provoking subject Uber Angel asserts that some modern dances, especially ones popularized through viral trends, might unknowingly serve as offerings to demonic forces. Why don't we hear what he has to say? Because this revelation is very powerful. This is very powerful. I'd like to thank God for using Uber Angel and for this discourse. And um, watch this video carefully with the eyes of your spirit. And we will be right back to share our thoughts on this powerful subject you must be very wary with the music you listen to but it is not music alone it is also the dances you do there are many dances that in the realm of the spirit they are demonic offerings unto satan the bible told us at least so very no when you get into the nation of south africa they have a certain dance and when they do that dance, their eyes are rolling in the back of their head. <laughs> I'm seeing this person dancing. I said, sister, do you need me to pray for you? I'm telling you, what type of dance requires your eyes to roll back? And when they are doing this dance, it looks like they are really demonically possessed unbeknown to them they are lifting up offerings unto satan the bible says in the book of second samuel that david danced noticed david danced and the bible lets us know that he was dancing unto the frequency of zion and because of his dance he remained king but because of the dance of his wife she became barren by your dance you can either become king or barren you see the reason why the wife of David persecuted him is because the type of dance that was stylish at that time was not being performed by David he was doing a dance that only heaven recognized so because it wasn't conformative to the world and the trend at that time she said you embarrassed me and by her persecuting David she became barren herself her dance left her barren and David's dance made him remain king your dancing can take you to hell demonic spirits only have power over influence only have power of thoughts so there are demonic spirits that begin to are planted on this earth and they begin to influence other people with these type of dances that begin to be seen as trends and now they are released upon a population of people and they go viral why because the bible says that the devil is the king of the airwaves so the dances he begins to perform they now begin to go viral what is taking place it is a demonic agenda certain dances are demonic offerings they are outer places where these dances are being born and what demonic spirits do is they plant them on the minds of other christians plant them on the minds of other individuals and the problem is in the christendom we now are adopt trends from the world and we bring them into church what type of dance requires me to face behind what type of dance requires me to face the opposite side and you see my back that is a demonic i'm telling you real stuff that is a demonically influenced dance that's why you find people on social media and they are dancing to a song by tyler <coughs> and the song says i won't even repeat the lyrics i know some of you you know the song here now they're quiet <laughs> very quiet they're here and the type of dance that is connected to that song 
requires for you to face the other way unbeknown to you it is a demonic offering unto satan there are two extremes spiritual warfare there are people that believe spiritual warfare to the extent where they are suffering daily from demonic oppression and demonic spiritual warfare and then there is another extent opposite extent of spiritual warfare where there are people that don't believe spiritual warfare exists both are casualty our duty is not to be in the middle our duty is to be on the word what does the word say about it so david when he was dancing his dance was the was he was he he connected to the frequency of heaven he connected to the frequency of heaven that heaven was pleased with him that god said your crown it shall remain on your head but as for your wife persecuted the inspiration that i planted in you as for her concerning her she will be barren all the days barren spiritually barren in your place of work, work. spiritually barren in your play in your educational institution spiritual bar spiritual barrenness in every department of your life not knowing that it is because one day you gave demonic expression to demons you let demons influence you demonically express giving expressions to demons Ow. i wish only a few people here could get this just a few people here could get this now wasn't that simply amazing we thank god for the grace of god upon Ubert angel jr's life and now as we reflect on his message and the biblical parallels let's ponder on these questions are our own forms of entertainment and expression bringing us closer to god or leading us away with viral trends that we seem to be consummated with how can we ensure that our cultural engagements are not at odds with our spiritual well-being? Scripture offers guidance in this regard. Psalm 149 verse 3 encourages the faithful to praise God with dancing, implying that dance can be a beautiful expression of worship. But the key is to ensure that our expressions align with godly principles and honor him so in conclusion as we navigate the complexities of modern trends and spiritual truths let's remember to seek wisdom and guidance from god let's be mindful of how our actions even in leisure and celebration can impact our spiritual lives and open portals for demonic influence demonic possessions that will alter the course of our destinies forever and this is dangerous because these kind of things can even send you to hell the bible says that there is a way that seemeth right to a man but the end of it is death and once portals are opened you are not yourself anymore i encourage your comments likes shares and subscriptions as we continue exploring these profound topics let's engage respectfully and thoughtfully in this journey of faith and culture until we see in our next video i remain grace daily motivational where the supernatural has become the normal